It was a journey Shaka Amar most probably doubted he would never make. A plane carrying the last British resident held in the US jail at Guantanamo Bay has arrived back in Britain after the Foreign Secretary confirmed his release. Shaka Amar had been held in the prison, which is part of a huge US naval base in Cuba, for more than a decade without trial. He was never charged with a crime and never tried in a court. The 46-year-old Saudi national's supporters say he will need medical attention. They claim he was kept in solitary confinement, with some reports saying he was subjected to around 300 beatings while in the camp. Shaka Amar was captured back in 2001 in Afghanistan while working as a charity worker and handed over to US forces. He was transferred to Guantanamo Bay a year later, accused of working for al-Qaeda. There are a lot of questions about why Shaka Amar wasn't home years ago, given that he was first cleared by George Bush uh, under Bush's presidency. And I think there are going to be a lot of questions to answer as well about the British involvement in terrible abuses early in Shakar's detention in Bagram and in Guantanamo Bay. But really, it's going to be up for Shakar, I think, after he's recovered from his ordeal to, dis- to decide how much he really wants to discuss all of that stuff. At the moment, he's very focused on family. On hearing of his release, his family said they wouldn't believe it until they see it. He will be reunited with his wife and four children this afternoon. He even has a son he has never met. The prison has detained about 750 people since it opened as part of America's War on Terror in 2001. It currently holds about 120 inmates.